That is the Renault of Nico Hülkenberg. Suspension damage too. Underneath Look. the car, Martin, to the left-hand side. You can see the front left towing out. Look at Nico front wing's coming off. He's limping home. Yes, yeah, so he's locked the right front. Now he's had to turn into a slide and that horrible sick feeling. He might get away with the, the front suspension actually. So Hulkenberg there in a fairly oh, rudimentary George, error actually. That, George uh, Russell with a spin there at the final chicane. Sorry to cut over you, Martin. And, and as Nico Hulkenberg is trying to limp back to the pits, Russell gets underway again. Kimi Raikkonen, currently only 18th, goes to 11th, pushes Ricardo down. I said he might be at risk here. Lance Stroll uh, can do something about it. Giovinazzi had a pretty horrific final sector by his standards and stays in that bottom five. That might save Daniel Ricardo. Carlos Sainz goes from 12th up to 7th. Lance Stroll next across the line. Uh, how's this time going to fare for him? Stays 15th and is knocked out in Q1 once again as Lando Norris goes six fastest with a super lap from himself and Nico Hülkenberg. 15th just. 15th just. Creeping in. So Nico Hülkenberg gets himself there. Sergio no, Perez out. gets himself there and that pushes Hülkenberg back down. Alex Albon uh, goes ninth and George Russell will get a five place grid penalty. Uh, stays 19th with Danny Kvyat out on the track but he doesn't need to carry on pressing although I'm sure he will. Uh, stays in 11th. The two Williams, Kubica and Russell, out. Giovinazzi is out. Lance Stroll, again, knocked out in Q1. And Nico Hülkenberg, after his accident, also out as well. Lando Norris, 13th fastest. Can he get himself into the top 10? He does. Seventh fastest for Lando Norris. But they're queuing up behind to try and take that place away. Kimi Raikkonen is out, doesn't make Q3, only 12th fastest for him. Albon does get into Q3, 8th fastest. T Kevin Magnussen now goes 5th fastest. Another really good lap for the Haas. And we're on board with Carlos Sainz going very slowly. Carlos Sainz crosses the line, only 11th fastest in his home Grand Prix. Bottas has just set a new track record of a 1.15.9. Ricardo gets into Q3, as he always has been here at Spain in the turbo hybrid era. Danny Kvyat goes six fastest, puts Lando Norris in the risky zone. Pierre Gasly goes fifth fastest and a decent lap for him. And we're on board with Sergio Perez. Can he deny Lando Norris and get himself into the top 10? No, he stays 15th fastest. So all eyes now on Charles Leclerc, who's been dropping down the timings, but he's been putting in personal bests as the Ferrari who's been on pole already this season, tries to get into Q3 and does. Fourth fastest, Norris is out and into the bottom five. Leclerc leaves it late, but showed the pace when he needed it. What happened to Carlos Sainz? That. Ah, so he's missed the chicane. Driver error then. Alexander Albon having his problems as well. This is through turn five. He got in there a little bit hot, ran wide, tried to recover some of the speed with uh, getting on the throttle, a bit too jumpy on the throttle. Car wouldn't take it. Disappointment then for McLaren. Carlos Sainz beaten by his teammate in qualifying here in Spain for the first time ever. But both McLarens are out. Perez and Raikkonen and Albon complete that bottom five. How's this going to look for Hamilton? Still hasn't broken out of the 16s. Bottas has got a great chance here. Two tenths up, Valtteri Bottas, Sebastian Vettel, eight one hundredths up as they approach the final sector, which has been Mercedes territory so far this weekend. Bottas has been on pole for the last two races in 2019. He's looking for a hat trick here in Spain this afternoon. He comes across the line. Now does Valtteri Bottas. Oh, wow. And boy, is he in the 115s by a massive margin. Bottas on provisional pole. Nobody at the moment improving their lap times enough to challenge this man, Valtteri Bottas. Including himself. That was such a magical lap in a 115.4. It looks like it'll be hard to beat. He, and he hasn't beaten it, but he's still on provisional pole. Where's Sebastian Vettel at the end of that lap? He's still third. Lewis Hamilton would love a fourth pole in a row here in Spain, but he doesn't do it. 
Valtteri Bottas on provisional pole unless Charles Leclerc can do something about it. We're on board now with Roman Grosjean who's just ahead of his teammate Kevin Magnussen and will stay that way because Magnussen's completed his lap and now Grosjean comes in as well. We see Max Verstappen. Can he force himself up into a higher place ahead of Sebastian Vettel? No, he can't. Stays fourth. What about Charles Leclerc? Ferrari need him on the second row at least. And they're not going to get it. Max Verstappen splits the two Ferraris here in Barcelona. And it is a hat-trick for Valtteri Bottas. Yes! Yeah, guys. A stunning lap time on pole by over six tenths of a second. It's an important qualifying session. This pole has won 21 of the last 28 Spanish Grand Prix. The front row have won 25 of the last 28 Spanish Grand Prix. Now, Bottas is reborn in 2019.